now we're going to show you how to complete phase three of our pool project. So in the last video in phase two, we came up with a path from start to finish that had at least one bounce off of a wall to make it into the pocket. Now phase three, we have to draw in some right triangles and figure out the distance that this ball is traveling using Pythagorean theorem. So here's how we're going to draw in these right triangles. The path that you drew, so I have two lines, that tells me I should have two triangles. However many bounces you have, okay, however many lines you have drawn, that's how many triangles you should have. If I bounce twice, I would have more triangles, okay? So this should be a triangle, I'm gonna write a one next to that line, and this should be a triangle, I'm gonna write a two next to that line. So I should have two triangles. Now the line that I drew, the solid line of my path, that represents the hypotenuse of, all, of both right triangles that I'm going to draw. Remember, hypotenuse means it's across from the right angles. So I have to sketch in right triangles, making this side and this side the hypotenuse in both. So right triangles means we have a right angle, so it should be perpendicular to the side. So I'm gonna use dashed lines so I don't get it confused with the path that I took. And I'm gonna go from the start to this wall and I'm gonna draw dashed line at a 90 degree angle. So I'm gonna draw in this dashed line and I'm gonna put a right angle in the corner to show this, I'll even color it in a little bit for you to see, this is my first right triangle. Again, it is very important that the path that you used with your blank protractor, that has to be the hypotenuse. It has to be across from the right angle. It cannot be one of the legs or you did not do it correctly. So I will do the same thing for this path over here. So this has to be the hypotenuse. So I have to draw the right angle across from it. So again, I'm gonna use dashed lines. I'm gonna line it up so that I make a perpendicular or 90 degree angle with the sides. I'm going to draw my dashed lines. Here's my right angle. So this would be my second triangle. Again, if you can't see it, I will lightly shade it in. So I have drawn two right triangles and the path that I drew, the solid lines that I drew with my blank protractor that represent the path the ball will take, those have to be the hypotenuse of each triangle. And in this case, they are. So now, once we have our right triangles, we want to figure out well, what is the total distance that this ball will travel? And we're going to do it in centimeters, okay? Now here's what we're going to do. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure the legs with a ruler in centimeters. Again, we're only measuring the legs, not the hypotenuse. So I'm going to line up my ruler. And for this leg, I am getting 13.1 centimeters. So this side is 13.1 centimeters. I'm measuring that with a ruler. This bottom side, when I measure, I'm getting 5.3 centimeters. So here's where we're going to use Pythagorean theorem because it is much more accurate than the ruler. We're going to use a squared plus b squared equals c squared to get what this length of the hypotenuse should be. So I'm going to show my work over here. You can do it on a separate paper if you don't have room. But if I'm doing a squared plus b squared equals c squared, it doesn't matter which leg you use for a and b. So I'll do 5.3 squared plus 13.1 squared equals c squared. So then we would evaluate that using our calculators. So 5.3 squared would give me 28.09. 13.1 squared is 171.61 equals c squared. 
If we combine our like terms, I'm getting 199.7 is C squared. And to get rid of the squared, the last step, you do the inverse, you square root that number. So I'm getting about 14.1 for my hypotenuse. So this hypotenuse length is about 14.1 centimeters. I need to see the work to go with this. You cannot just measure it with a ruler and call it a day. You need to show me the Pythagorean theorem for it. We have to do that one more time for this triangle, for our second triangle. So again, we're gonna measure the legs in centimeters. So this I'm getting 4.5 centimeters. And the other leg attached to the right angle. I'm getting 10.2 centimeters. So again, using Pythagorean theorem, I'm going to find the length of this hypotenuse. So I'm gonna do my work over here. A squared plus B squared is C squared. Plug in your legs, so 10.2 squared plus 4.5 squared is C squared. So 10.2 squared, give me 104.04. 4.5 squared is 20.25. Here, I've already learned Pythagorean theorem, so I am going quickly through these steps. So when I combine my like terms, I get 124.29. And then we would square root them. So the square root of that. So that hypotenuse is about 11.1. So it's about 11.1 centimeters. So that is phase two of our pool project. You sketched in your right triangles, making the paths the hypotenuse. You measured the legs with a ruler in centimeters and you used Pythagorean theorem to find the um, hypotenuse length.